Okay, everybody, welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings, Episode 3. When we left off, we were in the town with... My wheelchair waifu, baby. Anyway, uh, let's, let's continue. I fixed the flat tire when we were into the town. This is the residential area of the opposite bank of the lake to Windmill Hill, where we were just now. This place is nice. I'll take you back to your home. No, it's okay. I'm an orphan. <laughs> it seemed like she was going to say it, but... Er, it seemed like she was going to say, but, before she stopped speaking. For a girl with walking disability, just because she was shown a little kindness, she can't bring some guy she hardly knows back to her house. Thank you. Because of you, I was saved. Don't, don't mention it. If your tire ever goes flat again, call me anytime. I only said it as a joke, but she blushed and looked down nervously. Quack! I thought the girl said quack. <laughs> um, thanks? Uh huh? If you're thanking me, you already did that just now. That's it's his conscience, by the way, and the narrator. It was quite fun, like, spending time with a friend. Yeah, me too. I saw something unusual, too. The glider that we had just seen now was flying in the air above the hill where we were just now. That was seen. So did I! That's the first time I'd seen a real one! Oh. I now have some wonderful memories. Memories? <laughs> she murmured and giggled. Coupled with a cute and dainty appearance was her lovely smile. Well then, you better get going! Dude, that is a sick ass pink seat. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> okay, take care! Sure. Don't tell me what to do! The wheels squeaked as she pushed the wheelchair along with her hand down an empty street. Behind her, the duck <laughs> wearing a hat waddled along with her. Dude, I wish that was, like, animated. Hey! Hmm? She stopped her hands and turned to face me. See you again! Hmm. She looked troubled and embarrassed, then left without saying anything. <laughs> she sure was cute. <laughs> Where is she from? Her appearance was quite graceful, as if she were the daughter of a rich family. A little lady with a duck. <laughs> it was an odd combination, but they seemed strangely familiar with each other. <laughs> okay, I better go. He just talked to himself. Some guy's walking by. What? What? <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> now I'm going to the dormitory called the Flying Fish Manor. <laughs> Due to certain circumstances, this place will be my new home. While walking along the gently sloping street, I look up th at the clouds moving above, floating so freely that they reminded me of the glider. The distinctive silhouette had left a mysterious impression on me. Like if you cry every time. <laughs> that is a nice house. That is a pretty nice house. Or a dorm. Was that a bunny in the window? Uh, yeah, it was. Alright, see, it's, it's right over there. <laughs> I finally found it. Going my head? Yeah, actually. This place, is this it? I can't read that. <laughs> Flying Fish Manor, okay. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> There's such a big difference between its appearance and its name. <laughs> That'd be a flying fish. That's like giving a tough looking Japanese Tosa a name like Lily. What's a Tosa? I don't know. At least call it Mission de Flying Fish or something. <laughs> well, that's why. That's why, even though I looked everywhere, I still couldn't find it. Is that a glider on the top? Ooh. I don't know. It might be. Maybe it's a flying fish. With a propeller. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I thought, it's it's not this place. I completely ruled it out and then walked around and round this area. Even now, I still can't believe it. So, I'll check the sign one more time. See, it doesn't really tell you when it's his conscience or when it's a narrator. So, I'm just going to use that deep voice for I'm, both. I'm pretty sure the narrator is always his conscience. 
Okay, you don't need to get all philosophical on me, <laughs> waifu. Flying Fish Manor. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Even so, I'm still not entirely convinced. I mean, I know a lot about this place. This is like its inner, like, Casanova. What the shit? Whoa. This is, like, too spoopy for me. It's an old European-style building at the shore of the lake, and because its appearance is a little spoopy, when we were little kids, we called this building the Witch's Mansion. Dun, dun, dun. As a test of courage, we would often sneak into the yard. We just thought it was a rich person's residence, but it's a dormitory. Kaifu Private Academy Student Dormitory. I just can't stand here in shock. Woo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I took a deep breath and it stood up straight. And then blacked out. And then Dude, this is the fancy morning. as fuck. <laughs> May I come in? Oh. Lightly dressed girl. Oh, a visitor. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Found the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, Suddenly, a girl in the underwear appeared before me. The expression that I had tried so hard to straighten out crumbled instantly. May I ask your name? I. Um. Uh, wh why? She's the one who should be worried about having been seen. Or haven't been seen, but why am I the one feeling under pressure? I'm under I don't pressure. Like boobs. We don't expect except door to door sales. Uh, let me let me get this one. <clears throat> we have got again. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, looks like we have a visitor. <laughs> a visitor? What? A guy? From the inside of the other girl, and this one was wearing clothes, showed a face, but when she saw me, she let a hysteric scream. <laughs> At the same time, the glasses she was wearing looked like they were about to slip off. Can I get your clothes? Your clothes! Hmm? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh no, it's the mayor's daughter. <laughs> Another girl appeared. Oh, yeah. That's the crazy one. Oh, you can't! You can't! No, boy, you can't! I hate your body! She's not naked. What did you say? Uh, huh. No, no, that's not it! Just like a god of salvation, my cell phone rang. The word mom was shown on the display. Oh, what a phone killer. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. That's wonderful. I quickly pressed the button to answer the call while swiftly escaping outside. Mom! Oh, I thought you'd... No, I can't no. no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to... I thought you'd be at the Flying Fish Manor and that things would have calmed down by now. What's it like? Calm down, Grandpa. Well, this place is full of girls. And... I saw one in her underwear. Of course it is. That place... Yeah? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I checked the sign over and over, but then I noticed some small writing on the corner. Girls dormitory. <laughs> this is a girls dormitory? <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? God damn it, Mom. Did you do this on purpose? What is this? What kind of mother are you? <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna be in this place's dorm. I'm gonna be this place's dorm mother, aren't I? Wait, I thought he was a guy. The, the order of the boarding students will accept it. But just now they're screaming at the top of their lungs. Oh, did you go into their changing room by mistake? <laughs> it was by mistake. <laughs> the damn mother of mine, she's enjoying this situation. She also sounds like Grandpa. <laughs> Runs in the family. <laughs> the front door opened slightly and the girls from just now were peeking through. What's happening, Sonachan? He's he's still here. Uh, um. <laughs> when I called out to them like a surprise turtle, they pulled the faces back inside and shut the door. I don't have a wide range of voices for females. 
What should I? There's an echo. What should I do? What should I about this? There's echo through your side. Lower the volume, douchebag. Is there? Yeah. That person accidentally words. Yeah. There it is. Well, this is the situation. So you're the one with the new dorm mother? Well, I was explaining the situation. The boarding students, apart from the girl in the underwear, was, was putting on some clothes. Surrounded me, but kept their distance and watched me. It's because I have a penis. This is this is no good, isn't it? A boy being the dorm mother in a girl's dormitory? I accidentally pressed for it. <laughs> That's alright, isn't it? From below the underwear... Wait, from behind the underwear girl? She was wearing clothes now that were pretty gaudy. Were some girls who looked like they were hiding, but nodding and agreeing. If anybody comes here, he'll be a bigger problem. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I just thought it would be someone older. Yeah. Wait, that's a different person. Um. Where'd she come from? She's like, she sounds really shy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good. There we go. Incidentally, there's now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age, or maybe a year younger than me. Stare. That was kawaii as fuck. <laughs> what? What is it? Did you say your name is Owie? Is that how you say it? I, I guess. How old are you? Um, I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to Kfu Academy. I'm I'm in the second grade. Wait, how what? young? No, he means second year of high school. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, so you're in the grade below. <laughs> so is it third graders? <laughs> I don't. I don't know anymore, man. You look very developed for uh for third graders. <laughs> he he, she said. What do you mean, he he? That person who came to speak to all of you is my mother, and well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting the job as dorm mother. My mom is a job connected to the real estate, and a company managed this property. Well then, what should we do, Yuka? Should we change? If that's the situation! The person that seemed to be the oldest said so, and the other people were reluctantly nodded in agreement. This is just until the owner caretaker comes back, or we find someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. <laughs> Once the conversation was over naturally, everyone left and went back to their rooms. Hey, I'm sorry. Everyone can be so childish and they get carried away in front of a guy like you. A young guy. A young guy. A second grader, you know. This is weird. It is. Um. Kanako. I don't know who this is. Kanako Senpai! <laughs> If anything, please add. Oh, okay. She's Kanako. I thought it was some random person off the screen. I'm Kanako Shiguri. If you need anything, please ask me. The caretaker's room is at the end of the corridor on the first floor. Thank you very much. Was that all the boarding students? There's the underwear girl and Kanako, who was with me now. Y Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and the mayor's daughter. And Sana, the girl with the glasses, the timid one who came from the back, was Ryoko. That's four people all together. Ah, uh, well, there isn't. There's one person, but he's shit. She's what you might call the reclusive type. Cripple. She's a spider. No, I, I'm, I'm calling it. It's my wheelchair waifu. I wonder if she'll come out of her room at some point. Oh, dude. Oh. In other words, there are five borders in total. This building is pretty big, but there's only five people living here? Come to think of it, my mom said there were a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from s the school, so maybe it's not that popular. Ooh, I burnt up a sweat, so I'm gonna go take another bath. Can I join you? Anyway, the conversation ended well, so I called my mother to let her know. Now, you remember in these games, every time anyone opens up a bathroom door, there's a half-naked chicken there, so... <laughs> you know, that seems like a good spot to end off the video. I'll see you guys later.